Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter, and today I'm gonna to show you how I created and edit my intros and outros for my videos, and we talk about J and L cuts. So many of you guys have asked about how I do my intros and outros for these videos. So let's head over to the computer and I'll show you how it's done. All right guys, so I have a project open here. We're going to add the intro and outro and we're going to talk about creating J and L cuts. So I've got a list of events. These are all the videos and I have one event at the bottom here that is my title. So I have my outro a couple different intro options and whatnot. Um, for creating the intros, a lot of you asked me where I picked those up, and I got those from Video Hive, which is a great place for picking up um, really anything involving motion graphics or video stock footage. So I use Apple Motion, so they have a ton of projects here and files, and so I purchased this vintage badges set, and uh, a couple of those are what you see in my videos. Um, $16, which is just ridiculous for how much you get. So definitely check out uh, the site. There are a lot of great uh, intros that you can create using these files. I would recommend keeping it somewhat short so you don't bore your viewers though. So back to Final Cut. I've already created those and I have one for tutorials, one for reviews. When I do my videos, I normally have like a short little, hey, this is what we're talking about today. Then I cut to the intro. Then we come back and jump into the video. So I'm going to grab the tutorial intro, slap that in that gap drop the levels. Don't forget to do this. Um, it's really annoying when you're watching a video and you know someone's sitting at negative 6 dB, which is pretty normal, and then they have a musical intro and um, they forget to drop that because most music is up there at like 0 dB. So go ahead and drop that. Make sure it's at the same level of everything else. This is where things get interesting. I could leave it here, but it would cut from me to the intro and then back to me. I like to integrate that a little more and um, it creates a nicer flow. So to do that, I'm going to right click the clip, detach audio. Now we have these separated and this is where we're going to create J and L cuts. And what I wanna do here is have the music start before we see the intro and then the same on the way out of the intro. So let me just do this for you. It might be a little easier to understand. I'm gonna hit play here. And right there is where I want us to cut to the actual intro. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I have snapping turned on and I'm going to grab the edge or the beginning of the intro video and snap it. We just created a J cut because if we look down in the timeline, it kind of looks like a J. We're gonna do the same thing for the outro. So I'm gonna find a spot in the music where I wanna cut back to myself. Right there going to do the same thing going to drag the video over and now we have an L cut because it kind of looks like an L the next thing I'm going to do is create a ramp for the music when you hover over audio and final cut there's this little upside down teardrop thing you can grab that and drag it over and usually I pull my mouse up like this and get it just past the cut then I release it you can also hover over it right click it and choose what kind of of fade or crossover you're going to want. Most of the time I go with S curve and now I'm gonna do the same thing on the outro of the music. Bring it back, right click the little teardrop, S curve. Now let's play it back and it should give us a lot more flow because we're hearing the music getting ready for the intro and when we finish up the intro, we still have a little bit of a tail on that music to um, you know, let us down easier, whatever. Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter, and today we are going to talk about the perfect $500 LED light kit. There are so many different LED lights out there, and it's hard to figure out what to put together. So there you have it. That is how I do all of my intros. Um, you get really fast at it and it's a great way to have more flow to um, your intros instead of it being super abrupt. Now let's do the same thing for the outro. I'm gonna jump in here and I pretty much do the same thing except I'm only changing the music on um, the, the beginning of the clip. I'm gonna grab my outro, drag it down, play it to the point where I want to start the outro right there, right click the clip, detach audio, drag the video 
file over. And now I'm gonna do the same thing with my little tail or cross over here, switch it to S curve. And now it looks like this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. So that is pretty much it, very straightforward. Um, I would encourage you to use this process, the, the, the J and L cuts in other areas than just obviously YouTube intros. It's a great tool for um, kind of getting someone mentally ready uh, to switch to whatever you're about to show them when it comes to music and sound. If you watch a lot of movies, you'll see this actually a lot where someone's finishing up a conversation, they might look into the distance and you start to hear, um, I don't know, waves or birds, and then um, we switch to wherever we're hearing that. It's a great, great tool for filmmaking as well as simple stuff like YouTube intros. So that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. And if you also have tips for doing fast production when it comes to these videos, doing the intros and outros, I'd love to hear how you guys do it. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.